little different story. People are finding this massive clumps of seaweed from uh, a huge blob that was actually floating out in the Atlantic Ocean. You can just yeah, see it washing ashore and then Jeez. piling up. There's concerns, though, that more, are, more of this seaweed is on the way, which will impact the environment and tourism. It's very undesirable. Oscar Vasquez has owned his Miami Beach condo for more than 25 years and says he's never seen this much sargasm, a seaweed, this early. There are parts of the beach where it's undesirable and difficult to get into the water. Specialized tractors have been raking up the clumps of brown weeds that line these beaches. But by the time the sun rises again, they're usually back. The sargasm that is picked up is destined for landfills, but before, it's piled just offshore, releasing a foul odor. Not to be overly dramatic, I feel that maybe I bought in the wrong place. Really? Yeah, because this is not what I bargained for. The seaweed is naturally occurring, but this year, scientists say there's a bumper crop. On an average march since 2011, there's been this much of it in what's called the Great Sargasm Belt. This year, there was this much, an estimated 13 and a half million metric tons, which could reach beaches in the Caribbean and Florida over the next few months. All the seaweed. Afifa Abdul Ghani studies sargasm at the University of Miami. When wastewater is released into the river systems and makes its way into the ocean, you have all that nutrients that can be found in wastewater. And they help. It acts as a to fertilize yep. the sargasm. Mm -hmm. She's analyzing what productive human uses it might have. Instead of putting it into a landfill, we wanted to compost it and see if a usable product can be made from it. And yes, it can be composted. But that's still in the research stage. Until then, Miami Dade County officials say beaches will be cleaned daily, eager to protect tourism revenue and property values maintain the beaches. Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava says they must be careful to also protect wildlife. We have to get a permit for removal from the state and there are also federal guidelines protecting the native species. We can't put out barriers because that would be injurious to wildlife. So it's a delicate balance trying to keep the beaches free of the sargasm and also trying to protect the, the wildlife that's there. Absolutely. It's a balance that I think we've done very well maintaining. They're not allowed to scoop it out of the water, for example, because fish hatchlings and other creatures may be living in it. The county has set aside $3.9 million for sargasm removal this year, but it's asking the state for an additional $2 million because of how much more is still out there.